you find this. You find that we're going to put it in categories. We're going to draw a line and another line. We're going to put natural. Natural, unnatural. But there's another category over there. But we're not going to put it there yet. We have natural and unnatural. Why do we eat a hog? 
Oh, because God made it. No, God did not make a heart. God made it. Everything that God made is good. Everything that God made is good. God did not make a heart. God did not make a mule. God did not make a horse. God did not make rice or beans. They tell you in their history. We go mental. We go mental. The Jesuit priests in England made all of your beans. Just put that up there. Beans. Beans? Why not beans? There's starch there. All of these things have starch. That's the one thing that they have in common. Anything that man made must necessarily have starch. Starch is the binder. Starch is carbonic acid. But yet, we eat it as a food. So when I tell you that I don't like my neighbor, something wrong with me. Something wrong with me. Like I heard when I didn't like Mary, my third wife. I want to get her. And I wasn't joking. But prior to that, I want to get myself in 1963. The nigga was crazy. <laughs> and I wound up in an insane asylum in New York. In New Jersey, 1961. Why was I in an insane asylum with schizophrenia and paranoia? Because I was consuming all this stuff. But I didn't have anyone to really help me. Because everybody was telling me, you need your beans for what? Protein. Protein. Now what is that? We don't know, but we use these words, protein. Why? Because there was a mineral that was missing in our diet and is missing in all of our diet today. They call it iron. So, When Dr. Stanford noticed that I didn't give Akira any of this stuff in a hog or meat or milk or cheese or eggs, she jumped sky high. You have omitted protein from Akira's diet. I said, what? You have omitted protein from Akira's diet. I said, but Dr. Stanford, I don't know what protein is. You don't know. And you are a so called, what are you anyway? I said, well, they say that I treat people with these herbs, they call me Dr. Sippy. And you don't know what protein is, I don't know. You tell me. Well, she said, I'm a are you saying that protein is a necessary food? I didn't say anything like that. I don't know what protein is. Well, it is one of the 19 amino acids, the building blocks of life. Amino acids. Protein is one of the 19 amino acids, the building block of life. Now, what does the body have to do with amino acids? The body lives in an alkaline environment.
Ez lett a Gárdusztán Borak. Ez egy elektrikum. Ez egy protein elektrikum. I don't know. I said, you don't know. But you use a protein as a premise, as a foundation. I'm the uneducated. You are the educated. I never been to school. So I expect from you a different behavior. Is it inaccurate? Yes or no? Well, I don't know. Well, that's good. Because there are a lot of things that I don't know and I would never know. This forces me to ask you another question. What is sickle cell anemia, Dr. Steinberg? Well, sickle cell anemia is a disease that black people got 10,000 years ago. They called the blood went through your patient. I said, I'm more confused. I am more confused now than before. And the reason is because there is a brother of ours by the name of Dick Gregory that goes around the world telling folks that God gave us sickle cell to fight malaria. You tell me it's mutation. But Dr. Stanford, I want you to know this today. That sickle cell is neither God nor mutation. Like the great way you were saying, it is the deprivation of iron fluorine. That is sickle cell, I should know, because the little girl no longer has sickle cell anemia. But they don't want to hear that. It's coming from a black man. On on educated black man at that. Oh yes, I am. I'm proud to say why. I am not the property of anyone's philosophy. I am the product of my mama and my grandmama. Didn't have a father. Didn't have a father. And that was good for me. Because I didn't have to fight between mama and daddy. Mama and daddy to see which one is right. All I had was mama. And come to find out, it was to be the very vehicle and the way that I was supposed to reach today is goal in front of you. And I hope that I am the servant to you that my parents want me to be. So make no mistake that today I am not in front of you condescending because I need you more than you need me. So, understanding that life can only be found in the environment of alkalinity, why do they even make these things? Why would that necessary? But wait, they're going to take you into another zone. Now they already took you from the natural to the unnatural, but to get back from the unnatural to the natural is only a little thin line. They created another category for you. And some pineapple. No, 
They were true with us. They took us into the supernatural. You're not going to get away. What you mean? You're going to be eating your children. Could you imagine this? Wait for a moment here. Whenever an institution asks for people to eat a food that they know is hurting you, is that love? Is that love? When I know the truth. Why would they do that? Look, I was down in Mexico, a place in Cuauhtla Moreno. I saw an herb and I asked the herbalist, what herb is that? He said, that's Damiana. I said, may I have a kilo? He said, no. The Mexican told me, no, I am not going to sell you that herb. I said, but why? He said, your license plate on your car. I said, what does my license plate on my car have to do with that herb? He said, everything. Your license plate says California. And the best Damiana come from California. If I tell you mine, I am not being truthful. Look at the level of integrity of that Mexican. Well, I'm driving down Third Street in Memphis, and I saw a line of folks trying to get into the store. Now what are they selling in there? I don't know. But I will stop my car. And when I go in there, hot balls, chillings, pig snout, pig ears, selling that to us, they tell you, I don't like you. Eat this. Come on now. I thought you loved me. You know, or like when I go in front of a guru, he's not being truthful. Because when God put black folks in Africa, everything the black folks needed was right there. God did not put me in Africa, and then he omitted a component that I need to go to Japan to get. India, Europe, or Arabia. I don't need any of them. And because I felt that I needed them, they let me. Please leave me. I need a leader. Can't you see I need a leader? I'm blind. I need you to leave me. But the leader, instead of being truthful and kind and understanding. He tell me it means in hot bar, in land. You don't love me or something wrong with you. Look at the imposition. Look at the abuse. I stood by for years and listened to that and watched that even today. Nothing I can do. You think I feel good when I watch a brother eat a piece of ham chop? You think I don't know the damage he's doing? Then when I thought that when I stop eating the heart, that I stop eating the trichina one, that was very bad for me. So I start eating the pork and I decided to eat the lamb. And in eating the lamb, I didn't know it was a thousand times worse than pork. It had the Amtrak term, plus lamorin. You see, they get you going, and they get you coming. So in this category over here, they are products. 
they are part of the rose under this category. But to show you how imposing they are and inconsiderate they are, look what they're going to do. The products under the natural could be seen. The products under the unnatural, you could also see. But the product under the supernatural. You cannot see those. A little girl. But in it, Akila, no, not Akila, her name is Taina. You see, we talk about truth. Yes, Chicago, we're going to share that today, truth. Taina is sitting in the back of an automobile while her father is driving me to do a lecture like today. But the lecture was going to be at City College in New York. Taina heard her brother ask me, Dr. Sidney, what are you going to talk about today? I said, I don't know. Well, when do you know? When I get in front of the audience. He said, why don't you do me a favor? Why don't you talk about the soul, mind, and spirit? The little 12 years old girl jumped up and said, you better not. You better not. You better not because you know I hate you. I hate you and I will always hate you. But she had good reasons. Because I removed cheese, butter, eggs, and meat from a diet that she liked so much. But the little girl had a vaginal discharge that wouldn't quit. But now she noticed that even though she hated me for removing her ice cream and her eggs and her milk, her vaginal discharge stopped. She said, even though I hate you, I like something about you. You tell the truth. And if you talk about the soul, mind, and spirit, you are a liar. A 12 year old girl going to talk to me like that? Yes, she did. You are a liar. I said, why, Taina? Because those things did not come out of reality. They came out of the imagination. They are unreal. From that day onwards, I stopped. I thought that I was right tight, but I worked because this tragic of this girl letting me know that I was saying things that I thought or believed that I know. No. I said, here, I cannot live in the zone of belief. I have to know or I don't know. Because if I give you money, but instead of giving you money, I give you fox glove because they look alike, I will kill you because I believe it was money and it was fox glove. You cannot work in a, as a healer in the world and the environment of belief. You gotta know or you don't know. So Taina stopped me from being a liar. And I used to use it. I'm spiritual. And I go home and eat me some glazed hair. But I'm spiritual. Okay. What makes me so different from those that are? I claim it, I'm spiritual. You see, it doesn't make me better than you. That doesn't happen. So, Dr. Sebi, 
See that all of this stuff over here had to be omitted. I decided on the journey of that black woman in the jungles of Africa. And I begin compounding these plants using only alkali plants. Why? Because I want to make sure. I want to make sure. I don't want to cheat you. I don't want to lie to you. I don't want to come to in front of your face, your brother, with something other than the truth. And the truth is what you know, not what you believe. In so doing, the boy got a job with a company of Los Angeles as an engineer, making all kinds of money, and he got to quit his job. The uneducated boy that didn't go to school should have been happy to have an engineer job. No. No. That Mexican put me on a journey that I could not struggle. Because he said, stop eating for 94 days I stopped eating. When I went back and saw that Mexican, that Mexican said to me, this is it for you. What do you mean? Anybody that passed for 90 days, never go back to your whole life again. You're going to be a slave to the past. I was 30 years of age. I became a slave. I got a job at a county and turbines, condensers, deionizers, boilers, gauges of all kinds. I to read them. Oh boy. I don't like this anymore. I decided to buy the books on biochemistry, on biology, on pathology. I began to study those books. Ten years I worked for the county. Ten years I studied that science. The three of them, biochemistry, botany, and pathology. I studied those three sciences. And at the end of ten years, the first man that was killed, his name was Mr. Frederick. He was blind for 11 years. He was seeing in two days. He brought his daughter with him that had epilepsy. She was doing the first treatment. When that happened, boy, I'm happy. Oh, I'm happy. I'm happy people being pure. I quit my job and all my friends cried. I did too. Because I loved them. There were white people there, white engineers. Japanese engineer, there was Filipinos, and there were blacks. But we all were in love. I missed them. I said, I gotta go. The boss said, Are you out of your mind? I said, I may be. You've you been 10 years on the job, you have 10 more years seniority, and you can retire. I said, I can't stay. I gotta go. Because I noticed the mistake that our healers were making. They were integrating herbs that belongs here and herbs that belongs over there. You don't mix them. You neutralize both. You do not mix acidity and alkalinity. The boss said, you know, I'm going to give you a letter that if you fail in your journey of healing, you can come back within five years of your same seniority. That white man read our a journal. I said, thank you. He said, because I see that you have delivered yourself. I said, well, Red Howell is either win, lose, or draw. I don't care. I'm going. Seven years later, he is looking at television and he saw me being arrested, practicing medicine without a license. Seven products that 
approved by the FDA and claiming to cure AIDS and other diseases, which is a fraudulent claim. Now, how did he know? How did he know that I was making a fraudulent claim? I'm going to leave my little small country of Honduras to come to the United States to put lies in the newspaper and my mama is alive and then my face is in front of the public and then I represent Africa. I am an African. I am not an Afro-American. I'm not a hybrid. I am an African born in America. I am not an afro Honduran. I'm an African. Now with that Africanness, I begin to do the research and found that we cannot eat the same food Caucasians eat or Indians eat. Indian could eat tea. They call it clarified butter. That is very dangerous for us. Arabs? Arabs could eat lamb. That's fine. Let them do that and drink their coffee. We can't do that. It hurts us. We're not against anyone. All we're doing this evening is showing you that the difference that we are has not been treated. And this is why we have a tendency to be angry and to overlook certain things. And then we use these measurements that confuse things. Like for instance, you know Chicago, Elijah Muhammad, Malcolm. Which one is better? King. Then you have Nobu Ali. These are men that fit in the equation. They set the stage for today. So you cannot compare one against the other. Each one came with a message. And I learned from all of them. And I will continue to go. Yeah, Dr. Sadie, you create a holy. That doesn't mean anything. That's not even scratch of the surface. Mr. G, the cameraman, came with his sister with lupus dying. She's cured. Does that make me know everything in healing? You know that's not true. <laughs> so yes. So I journey into the healing path, on the healing path, we begin to see that it is not about using a yardstick, good and bad, up and down. You cannot compare a lion with a tiger. They are different animals. Totally different. Not to be compared with. So, I want you, Chicago, to know this evening that I am not here talking about things that you don't already know.